Hi, everybody. Uh, Hello. For those of you that don't know me or saw me around and wondering who the hell I am, uh, I am Sergio's brother, Anthony. Please feel free to call me Tony. Uh, proud uncle to their son, Vincenzo. Son of my father, Jerry LaRusso, who made it here. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of our uncles, Sergio and Vincent, couldn't make it due to business in New York and over in Italy. Our cousin Vinny, though, he made it. <laughs> he represents a family out in out west in California. I know what you're all thinking right now, Joanna's family, but you did not marry into the mafia. <laughs> also, we do not know the people from Jersey Shore. We can't get them on the show. Uh, now, I've been married 13 years, so I'm probably not going to be really good at speaking because I'm not allowed to talk more than <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to do my best. First thing I want to do is recognize some people that are really important uh, here, the most important people here probably, people that throughout the night we're going to get to know and love. Give it up for the bar staff in the back. people the party today. Uh, seriously though, the most important person here obviously is the beautiful Joanna. We've gotten to know Joanna over the the, the past few years, luckily, we live in Florida, and now they live in Florida. We get to visit them a lot. I know you're all jealous of that. Um, and I've come to know her as just the most caring, uh, most intelligent, just incredibly driven, stunningly beautiful, especially today. I don't know how my brother did. <laughs> this is a train up to Sergio, that's for sure. Well done. Well done. Something that I know throughout the relationship, and, and hopefully I'm positive it will continue, is I know Sergio just dedicates so much of himself to Joanna and Vincenzo. Uh, he cherishes them dearly in our private conversations together. I've never seen him more dedicated, focused, and, and in love with anything ever, and couldn't imagine him being in love with anything ever. Um, and I'm positive that's going to continue through their life together. Uh, he shows it to him every day, and there's a reason I have to say show it. If you spent five minutes, ten minutes, an hour with Sergio, you notice he probably doesn't say a lot. <laughs> Unless he's well liquored up. Again, the bar staff in the back. <laughs> now, I remember some legitimate concerns. I drove up to see Vincenzo when he was born, and I met some of the, started meeting some of the family, and, and immediately we were like, Joanna doesn't really say a lot. Well, Sergio doesn't say a lot. <laughs> relationship was going to advance. Usually the, the lack of communication comes towards the end of the relationship. Uh, somehow they managed to make it work. Sexy. Yeah, sexy and they must argue the attack. I don't know how they do that. Jack and Coke. Jack and Coke. One thing I didn't realize and it being the big brother is that I actually prepared him, unwittingly prepared him for marriage. And this is something he brought up in, in the best man speech for me. I don't have a good rebuttal. I honestly turned him into a slave. Uh, I told him constantly that whatever he said was stupid or wrong. Uh, I made sure that whatever we were going to do was what I wanted to do. He had to go fetch me sodas from the refrigerator and things like that. So, Serge, I honestly want to say, because you brought up in my best, in, during your best man speech for me, Clearly it hurt you. I'm very, very sorry. Thank you very much. Joanna, you are very, very well. I will say, though, about Sergio, uh, he didn't get the talkative gene in the family. Uh, he's a little bit quieter than most of us, as evident from the speech where you're still all standing on your feet waiting for me to finish. Uh, but there's one thing that is holds true through all the LaRusso men and all of our family. We're extremely passionate, passionate people. That's why I was up here crying with my wife during our, as soon as I heard our wedding song, I had to run up the stairs while I was cracking the sofas in the bathroom. Um, and th we just have an incredible passion for life, passion for laughter, passion for the ones that we love most important. And Sergio exemplifies that every day. I see it when I talk to him on the phone, when we come up here to visit today, the last three, four days that he has just been killing himself out here and, and trying to make things just perfect for Joanna and uh, his family. He absolutely exemplifies that family tradition. And this is where I'll start crying. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of him. Uh, my only thing that I would say is just the, the up times, the down times, just hold on to that passion. I know he will do everything that he can for that family. Um, 
Now, at some point, I'm supposed to give like real good marriage advice. And clearly, I'm choking up here, and it's not going to happen. So, I'm going to use the best analogy that we can all understand and convey this message. Football. Everybody like football? Bills fan. Gators get some college in here. Okay. Marriage is like football. Sometimes it's very happy. It's very exciting. Sometimes it's kind of sad. It's really always exciting though. Whether it's whether you're happy or sad, it's always exciting. Uh, you have to be fully committed to your team. When you're on the team, you got to be in 100%. And you should expect to score every week that you go out there. <laughs> Try to play half of your games, or half of the season, away from home. That way the fans are happy to see you when you get this. And don't forget to change ends at halftime. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. And, and to let your teammate know that they're doing a good job, you appreciate them, smack them on the ass. <laughs> They like it. Uh, just to wrap this up so we can all get hammered. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming out here today. The fact that so many people came from so many different places. It's a testament to Sergio and Joanna and the people that they are and how much we love them. Uh, and to the happy couple, may their happiness be complete. May it be filled with moment after moment that you'll cherish forever. And may your marriage be as long as this speech, but with more life. <laughs> <laughs> to Joanna and Sergio.